Sorry about that. Uh, we ran out of uh, video space. So continuing on with our assessment, um, if the patient was lying in bed, you would have them turn onto their uh, their left lateral side um, to listen. And uh, um, we're going. To, that concludes the uh, heart and lungs assessment. And now we're going to move into uh, the muscle skeletal part. And uh, um, the muscle skeletal, you want to uh, palpate again. Um, you want to uh, palpate the start of the shoulders and uh, work your way down and work your way down to the elbows and palpate all the way down. Um, you can stop and feel the radial arteries along the way. And then one at a time, sorry my hands are cold, you can, uh, you want to palpate the hands and you want to palpate each digit individually, noting for any masses or abnormalities. You also want to visualize the skin at this point, see if there's any lesions, open wounds or anything. And uh, Liz's uh, skin appears to be normal. Um, now you want to palpate the brachial artery and uh, you want to do this on both sides she has good brachial artery and at this point you want to palpate um, the uh, uh, node that's right here above the arm and on the inside and I uh, do not feel any abnormalities with the nodes. Next um, we are going to uh, check uh, uh, passive and active range of motion here and uh, um, using her hands I will have you uh, put your hands up. Okay. Joel, let me push your hands out. Good. Try to push out. Good. All right. And uh, um, I will uh, um, have you uh, put your hands up. Okay. Uh, rotate your hand, your arms in. Okay. Rotate your arms out. Good. Put your arms behind your back. Good. Put your arms above your head again. And here we're checking for any uh, crepitus abnormalities, um, decreased range of motion. Next, we are going to check uh, active and passive range of motion of the lower extremities. And uh, we'll start um, by uh, um, first doing physical exam, making sure to uh, look, listen, listen, look. Um, and well, and listen, you're looking, for, you're listening for crepitus and things. Um, you want to visualize the skin. You want to look at the extremities, make sure it's warm and her skin appears warm. And you're looking for edema, and I do not note any edema on the right side. And on the left side, same thing, hair distribution looks um, to be none, as um, she's female. And uh, her legs, um, skin is warm. You want to palpate for the um, dorsalis pedis pulse on both sides. She's got good pulses. And you want to check the um, postibial pulse here. And uh, that is on the inside by the ankle. Next, you want to palpate. Uh, the popliteal pulses, which is located right behind the knee. Okay, good. Um, and you palpate the pulses and they seem to be okay. Uh, next, we're going to do pac passive and active range of motion. And um, here we'll do uh, passive range of motion first. Yeah. Um, by, uh, I will lift her leg up here. Okay. And uh, um, seems to be okay. I'll have you do the same thing. Good, all right, good. And uh, her, there's no muscle weakness or anything noted there um, that seems to be all normal. Um, and at this time, we will move to doing the abdominal assessment with the uh, patient lying down, and we'll finish the um, uh, other half of the muscle skeletal system.